What up YouTube? This is Dreadmaster YGO here. Uh, we are here with um, someone that just did very well at our OTS championship. So uh, explain just who you are and what did you do today? Hello, I'm Tyler. I, I played uh, Cash Tierra today. And Cash Tierra has just been a fun deck. I've always liked and all that. But other than that, the Swiss rounds was very, very easy. Uh, went four and one, lost in the final round against uh, Scareclaw Adventure. Uh, other than that, well, that's all it really there is. Well, that, let's get into the profile. All right. First up, oh, first up is the Cashier Monsters: three Fenrir, three Rise, two Unicorn, one one Scareclaw, and one Ogre. This, as I always been like this ratio before a rice heart got banned, and after a rice heart got banned, I, I feel like this got this was pretty much became the norm for the for the group for main dock monsters. Uh, but I didn't play two limits cast here because it I don't like it, but it's still a, a good card to run. All right, for the cast here spells. And traps, three theosis, three planet, three birth. I played one big bang and one preparations. I'm mostly searching this to set it most often. It's, I, it's just a uh, evenly matched for for most for monster effect monster decks. Preparations because I thought those would be a little more of rescue race or trap heavy decks, but. Three bird, three planet, three theosis is just normal for for uh, Cash Tira. So pretty standard lineup there, then. Yep. Uh, for consistency cards, just three for prosperity. I this is I like this card. No other information. And I also had two two thrust alongside a kind of like a weird uh, weird ish thrust package. One talent, one change of heart, terraforming, reborn, and uh, Harvey's Fellow Duster. Month Reborn was actually a last minute add to the deck because I didn't want to play two Big Bangs, but it came up once. I don't remember if I won that game or not, but it came up and it was, was good. Would you add or change anything for your thrust stuff? Honestly, probably maybe a second talent, but or like Harold, but I never played against Pearly for, for Harold to really come up. And I personally feel like I will. I personally think with my deck, how my deck stacked up, I think Pearly is just a, an easier matchup for me personally. All right. And for just hand traps, three and perm, main MVP of the deck, shifter, and three ash. This card is too dumb. I I love it. It but basically says you don't get to play. True. Against most decks. Which most decks it was that. For the extra deck, uh let's we'll start with three Shinger Era. I played three over two. One and against my T Elements Cash Tier player, he uh actually unicorns effect to certain Look at my extra deck, trying to rip out eight to my second copy. But he saw that I ran three total. He's like, oh, okay. So I can't get, so he can't get rid of it. So he got rid of uh, another card in here. And then just generic rank sevens. Uh, two ready to start metal, probably the second, in, an honorary cashier monster by this point. Uh, Draco Sack, Big Eye, Dark Armed, number 74. Fan track, uh, Mount Smasher, Zeus, and uh, Typhon. I never went into Mount, uh, Mount Smasher. Typhon came up twice, both times. I was locked underneath his own effect with some of even using it, but it's fine. And the last three cards were SP, which was the one card he sniped out. Lingerie because I am afraid of. Ibley and Barone because 
special Fenrir, Noble Summon Ash, Mash together, Barone. And for and for the side is just a clean sweep of three Droll, three Phantasmate, three Cosmic, three Dark Ruler, three Evenly. I would not probably not change this side for a good while. Uh, Unchained is is out is out there. Uh, Pearly, uh, the game can combo is always out there. Uh, a bunch of like going first wombo combo. Here's a board decks. Uh, other than that, it did fine. I pretty much sided every single card in at least once. Once each match. All right. Any uh, final words or possible shout outs? Uh, to the people that say cash tier is dead, no, it's not. L look at the recent YCS over, over Richmond. It's still a strong deck, top 30. And, uh, and, other than that, that's all there really is. All right, well, thanks for your deck profile of the day. Uh, this is Dreadmaster YGO signing off.